hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse slipper and today I am bringing you another research video and it is one I never thought I would make because I I really didn't realize there were so many candles that are worth hundreds of dollars now maybe you're a candle collector maybe you just like them and you already knew this however i did not know this and i am sure a lot of you do not so these candles i'm getting ready to show you sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars they are designer candles a lot of them i had never heard of they are also rare scents by some more common companies that you might know like white barn yankee candle and the prices they bring it are absolutely insane. So I am going to share with you the top 20 selling candles on eBay in the last 90 days. Because if you are out thrifting, if you are at a garage sale, if you are at an estate sale, you might find candles. And I definitely do not want you to pass any of these up. All right, before I forget, a few of you have asked where I got my new glasses. I just got these about a week ago and I got them from overnight glasses. So I'm really bad about being impatient. I don't know about you when I order something, I want it really fast. And overnight glasses get you prescription glasses overnight. I used them when I had a business trip to DC last year. My vision changed really unexpectedly. So I actually got a pair in DC and now I've got my new prescription. I still am holding out on bifocals. I am not giving in yet. I know I will have to eventually, but for now I am not. So these that I'm wearing are Ray-Bans. They have like designer brand names, but they also have their own line. And I ordered a pair of those that I'm gonna be able to show you soon. They're really, really cute. They're bright blue. So I have a coupon code. I'm gonna throw it down in the description and in the comments for you guys. So you'll get a discount if you order from them. If you haven't tried them, they are great. And I was talking with some of you about this in my live and you said you needed to go get your eyes checked. So if you need to go get your eyes checked, go get them checked and then you can order your glasses from overnight glasses. Just as an example, I paid about $250 for these I'm wearing right now and they're Ray-Bans. And somebody watching told me they had the same ones and they paid $600 at their eye doctor. So their prices are great, they deliver it fast and I just wanted to share because a lot of you have been asking me. Now, on to these absolutely insane candles. Let me know down in the comments before we're starting if you knew that there are candles worth over $100 for a single candle. If you did not, you're going to be really, really surprised. So, we are starting off with this Leib J Crocodile Porcelain Candle 24 Karat Gold Final Pink Champagne Scent. $175 for this candle. I did not know this name. I feel like I probably would have noticed this little crocodile and I guess it's real gold. I don't know, but I wanted to show you this. So make sure you keep an eye out. Looks like this seller had two. They have sold one. And this one again is Le Objet and a name you want to remember. Next is a name that we all know, and that is Yankee Candle. And Yankee Candles are absolutely great. This Yankee Candle, if you found it, would be absolutely amazing. This is a Yankee Candle Candy Corn Holographic Bony Bunch Medium Jar. One jar sold for $189.99. There are quite a few rare Yankee Candle scents that people will pay up for. So if you find a Yankee candle and it is new, look it up. I did not look to see if these would sell if they were used. I bet that they might still bring a decent price even if they are used and have a significant amount left on them. And here you can see the bottom of this one. I don't see that original price, but almost $200 for a single candle. So check your Yankee candles and definitely watch out for candy corn. 
Next is a name I did not know. And again, if you're a candle collector or a candle affectionado, you might know this. I did not. So this is Henry Bedell. It is seven candles. They sold for $180. So that's close to $30 a piece, which I feel like is probably a little higher than average. However, they lotted them up and it was almost a $200 sale. So here you can see these are triple wick candles. They were not used. They are showing the different scents that are there and amazing, amazing sale. Here you go. They were originally $30. So they would have been $210. I have found wood wick candles at both the flea market and garage sales. So keep an eye out in case you might come across some of these Henry Bedell. They are holding value and still selling for about $30 each. Next is eight Bath and Body Works candles. These are vanilla birch. They are three wick candles and the eight sold for $200. So just over $20 a piece. You can, when these things go on sale, you can get them at quite a discount. Now there's no way to know which ones are gonna be popular like this, but keep an eye out if you come across someone who might've been a Bath and Body Works collector, definitely pick them up and I would lot them up, but make sure that you research them to see which ones are worth more money. Next is another name that I was not familiar with, and that is Veluspa. This is Veluspa Noble Fur Garland. It's a five wick candle. It is 123 ounces. This, this candle weighs three and a half kilograms. That's like over six pounds. Absolutely crazy. But this candle sold for $200 on a best offer. How crazy is that? Veluspa was dominating the top selling candles. Now here you can see the bottom. I do not see the price. I don't know if this was $200 or $20 and now it's worth $200, but definitely a name you want to keep an eye out for. Single candle, a very, very large candle, but a candle nonetheless sold for $200. Next is another Bath and Body Works candle. This one is White Barn. It is blossom scented, orange blossom scented. They don't have that, but I see it there on the candle. The single candle sold for $220. So this is probably a discontinued, very popular fragrance. They do only have the one picture there, but this is a single candle that sold for $220. So again, White Barn, Yankee Candle, any of those Bath and Body Works, Look them up if you happen to come across these and they are new. And again, if they are used but barely used, I would still check them. Next is another name that had a lot in the top selling ones, and that is Fornacetti. This is Albuio scented candle, ceramic wax. It does say hand jasmine citrus. This one sold for a best offer on 220 dollars and I am trying to only show you one maybe two from each brand because I want to get some different names in here for you to look for this and the apple the hand holder is a really really neat piece here you can see that box the albuio it says at dark a scented candle and again it is for Nassetti. keep an eye out for these there are quite a few of them that sell very very high Next, look at these kitty cats. This is two huge 21 and 16 inch candles. If you see giant candles, pay attention. If you see vintage candles at all, pay attention. They might not all sell like this for $250, but they are worth something. So these are from the 1960s. It does say plastic eye, boho and rare. The two of these sold for $249. These were sold out of Orlando, Florida. So these were close to me and they are in immaculate condition. You can see here just that one small chip on the base. Other than that, these two look really great and amazing, amazing sale, $249. 
more bath and body works. These are more three wick candles. So a lot of these candles have been three wick candles just to give you something to kind of tuck away in your head. These five sold for $260. So $50 a candle and they are tomato vine. There you can see they are unused. There is the bottom and amazing, amazing sale. Five candles for $260. A Yankee Candle house warmer. It does say very rare retired blue delphinium single jar candle best offer on $260. I hope I hope I've convinced you to look at candles. Now here is the bottom of this one and you can see here I'm trying to show you you can see it's bubbled up a little bit and I will talk with you guys about shipping candles in the heat here in Florida it is in the high 90s right now I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that at the end of the video if you are wanting to sell candles how you should go about shipping them and this one was a great sale best offer on $260 another name i did not know this one was sold out of australia so for my australian sellers that have been saying nothing will really sell look for some candles so this is a very rare glass house fragrances winter wonderland it is a soy candle it sold for us 197 27 and i wanted to show you here they are showing that it is the extra large size they're saying it has never been sold in australia here you can see the three wick as far as the lid. This is a cute little fancy looking candle. Pay attention, keep an eye out for glass house fragrances. Next is another one that had a lot of ones in the higher dollar and that is Richard Genori. This is an Italian candle. It is Azalea. This one sold for a best offer on $279. I will also say there are Chanel, there are Louis Vuitton, there are Hermes. All of your high dollar brands make candles, which I really was not aware of. Now here you can see it does say Sesto Fiorentino, Italy. And beautiful, beautiful candle here. And you can see the retail on this was 380. And as with a lot of stuff that I show on these videos that is from other countries, this one was sold out of Iowa. This stuff does end up in the US. So with almost anything, keep an eye out for made in Italy. Next is some more White Barn Bath and Body Works. These are blueberry pie. Now, this was a quantity of 17. So it's a little bit over $10 each, but this just goes to show if you find a bunch of them, you could possibly offer to, hey, I'll buy all of those for 50 bucks or something similar to that. And then you lock them all up, you sell them. This lot sold for $295. I don't know what the seller paid. I was just giving you an example. But this one is a great, great sale. Again, if you find these at estate sales, garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, wherever you might find them, you might be able to get them and still turn a very, very good profit a lot of two candles they are three wick ernesto and lucifer the two sold for three hundred dollars so 150 dollars a candle here another name you need to know trudon you can see there this one is fur there is the inside these candles look fancy okay i honestly i really did not know that there are candles that retail for three hundred dollars there are so definitely keep an eye out for True Dawn candles. I told you that there were some top names. I did want to show you at least a couple of them. This is a Christian Dior Bougie Parfumy candle. It does say big size, single candle sold for $315. Now I see here it says, although it's unused and new, it's been a while since purchased, therefore, please be aware there may be some minor scratches or dirt. So that seller is putting that in there that these it, there might be some condition issues. So here you can see the photographs. There is that Dior on the bottom. 
cute little Dior box. I would not have thought this candle was worth $315. Next is another name I didn't know. This is a new unused authentic Chateau Marmont candle with the box. It does say the box is slightly damaged. This candle sold for $325 for a single candle. Here you can see the glass jar. There is the top. If you must get in trouble, do it at the Chateau Marmont, Harry Cohn producer. That is their quote. There is the inside of the box. It says it was made in Hollywood. And yeah, absolutely crazy. $325. Name you need to know, Chateau Marmont. With this one, we are up to our top five. This is another Yankee candle. It is not candy corn. This one is trick or treat. It says original black band label, extremely rare. This single candle sold for $350 for a candle. So there is a theme here. Yankee candle, retired scents that are black band label. You can see that there on that label and that are Halloween. That is what I am seeing, but I would check all Yankee candles you might find. Here you can see the Yankee Candle Co. on top. They are showing the condition of the candle there and the bottom as well. I'm trying to see if I see a year here, but I do not. So watch for Yankee Candle, watch for Halloween, and I hope you find a lot of them. Our number four selling candle is a Joe Malone Peony and Blush Suede. Just that name sounds very expensive. This one retailed for $540. I am so blown away that there are candles that cost this much. And I want to know, do people really burn these candles or do they just smell them? I don't know if I could burn a candle that, that cost $540. So retail $540. This one sold for $399.88. Watch for Joe Malone, London. Here you can see this one is unused. There is the bottom and the fancy little box that it comes in. Amazing, amazing sale, $399. Watch, watch for fancy candles, my friend. Number three selling is a Chrome Hearts scented candle, 220 grams. This one sold for $440. Single candle. Has it blown your mind yet? I hope so. Here on the bottom, you can see it is Bougie Parfumi. So this one is the one we just saw it. It was the Christian Dior, I believe. So I believe this is Christian Dior's line of candles, which is the Chrome Hearts. I might be mistaken, but that is the same name and an amazing sale at $440. Two top selling is a Gucci. This is a limited edition Gucci the Virgin Violet candle. This Gucci candle sold for $547.40 for a candle. Here you can see it in the Gucci box. They are showing the line of Gucci products it came from. Here is the bottom of that candle. And absolutely amazing. Gucci makes candles. I didn't know. I learned this today and now you're also learning it. Top selling in the candles is a lot. This is a lot of 22 body care single wick candles. Bath and Body Works, my friends. Lot them up. 22 sold for $640. That is a great sale. So if you find them, lot them up. Here you can see what is coming with it. It is a big lot, 22 body care and 40 candles. Big lot, $640. So a total of 60 items. They got $10 an item though. They pick these up at a yard sale for two bucks each. I'm just giving an example. That would be 120 into 640 and amazing profit. If you don't want the lower dollar sales and you have like items, lot them up. All right, that was everything. I hope you enjoyed. As far as shipping these, here in Florida, it's in the high 90s. Before I talk about shipping them, I want to remind you, if you are storing them, store them low because heat rises. I learned the hard way 
in my sheds, even though they're air conditioned, candles on the top shelves still got some melt damage and the tops looked funny. I will tell you they will still sell, but you do need to disclose that to your buyers. However, if you could prevent that from happening in the first place, that would be best. So do not store them up high is my number one tip. Number two, if you are shipping them and you are in a hot climate or your buyer is, if they are this high of a dollar amount, you could do two things. So one would be to insulate them. Actually, there's three things. One would be to insulate them with styrofoam. You can buy styrofoam board at like Home Depot or even at Walmart. I'll pop a link up for that. So you could line your box with styrofoam to insulate it from the heat. To be extra careful if you were selling these high dollar, I would throw in some ice packs for shipping as well. And the third thing is you could try like some wall insulation. I have received some live live things. We buy crickets and things like that that are insulated with almost like the fiberglass lining. I would put them into like baggies so your customers don't have to touch them, but make sure that box is insulated. I would put perishable on the box as well. And if they are not high dollar, wrap them in bubble wrap, use that styrofoam board or simply wait until it cools down. Here in Florida, there's not very many months that it's cool, but we have found that using the styrofoam to insulate the box, or if you happen to get meal deliveries or medication deliveries, those common styrofoam boxes, keep those and use those to ship out candles. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope it blew your mind as much as it did mine when I was researching it. I really appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next one.